And then for this example three here, so you have to show your profile and this time asks the, uh, the change in water table so that effective stress at point C is at the particular value. Okay. And here we're going to use dry sand, gamma dry above uh, water table instead of moist. Okay. So for this example here, So we know we are going to uh, calculate the factor stress after water table changes. So let's say this, uh, we call this H. So that's the uh, uh, change in water table. So this is a new water table. So this is a new water table. And um, so we want to find out uh, this H such that sigma C prime is one and 90. So this is H then. Okay. So the dry soil layer six minus H. So at point C, sigma C prime, I'm going to use a point the unit weight as so it is faster to do the calculation. So we have six minus H of gamma D. So that's that six minus H dry soil above the new water table plus H plus 13. Okay. So that's the depth, the thickness of the new saturated soil after water table rises, okay. H plus 13 times point unit weight. And we want this new value to be 190. Okay, so that's 190. Kilonewton per meter square. So then substitute uh, these unit weights into this expression. So the unit weight of water in SI uh, system is 9.81. So this is gamma water. And there's only one unknown in this last expression. So that's a height H, okay, solve for H. Okay. So just one unknown. So from this last expression, H is 4.49. So water has to rise 4.49 meter above the original uh, water table for sigma C prime to be 190.